pot shops across the state have stepped up security. The Liquor and Cannabis Board in Washington State says that more than 50 have been robbed, many of those armed robberies just this year alone. The videos are hard to watch. Masked armed intruders after cash. In March, a worst case scenario unfolding inside a Tacoma pot shop as a 29 year old employee is shot and killed during a robbery. And when we do a deep dive into those situations, oftentimes we find that there was something that could have been done to either make that preventable or minimize the impact. And that's our job in the industry. Security consultant Jeffrey Slotnick will soon have the opportunity to make the changes himself. His company, Centricon, has been awarded a state contract to consult with close to 200 pot shops across the state. Our goal is a combination of uh, analysis and review, looking at the situation based on best practices, and assisting store owners and store managers to facilitate change. This is not about a gotcha or, oh, look what we found wrong. It's not about that. It's, it's about informing people and facilitating change for everybody's success and safety. The Washington State Liquor and Cannabis Board spearheading the program, while the state's Crime Prevention Association will offer a safety training to cannabis business owners and their employees. But now that people have actually been shot and killed, it's gotten worse and we're taking it even more seriously. Though many aren't waiting for training. Take Seattle's Uncle Ike's. Owners there taking on the expense of armed security, a move they made after a robbery in 2021. Because of a discrepancy between federal and state law, the marijuana industry in Washington state remains a cash business. There have been attempts to change this out of Olympia, but as of today, nothing has passed. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.